Hello, it's Vanessa here from Apple Patch Quilting and Craft. I've got Craig here with me this morning and we're going to do an unboxing of a Juki sewing machine, the HZL F600, which is currently on special for Mother's Day. So let's see what's in the box. Now that will be the extension table. So it comes standard with this machine. Oh, there we go. Oh, now look at that nice cover. So this machine has a cover, a nice hard cover with a large pocket area that you can store all your bits and bobs inside of. And Craig is getting out the manual, the disc, the accessories, foot pedal, knee lift lever. Oop, I'll just lift that up a little bit higher. Yes, you can hide lots of goodies in there, including maybe even some chocolate. You never know. Okay, so this model is the F600. It is a computerized machine. Craig's just going to pull the sticky stuff off and I'll just come in and have a look. So we have got lots of stitches on this machine. I can see 15 different types of buttonholes. Lots of decorative stitches, patchwork stitches, and it's also got four different fonts. So you can have a lot of fun with decorative stitching with this machine. Almost feels like ripping off a band-aid. Okay, so we have the accessory tray. So this machine comes with a lot of standard accessories with a cute little accessory tray, which if I lift up has more underneath. And that big massive foot there, that is the buttonhole foot. Look at that. So it actually plugs in and it measures the length of your buttonhole. So standard accessories. I can see the applique foot, an overcast foot, blind hemp foot, zipper foot, spare bobbins, quick unpick brush, all the good sort of stuff. And it also has an extra number of accessories that come standard. So we have a walking foot. And it is a nice little walking foot, this one. Now, extra points if you know what this is. Curious little piece of equipment. That is actually a buttonhole punch or an eyelet punch. So if you're doing eyelets or if you're doing buttonholes that have got the rounded ends for using shanked buttons, then that will actually punch the eyelet at the end. Free motion for Teflon foot. So that's for things like working on vinyls. They're sort of like sticky. Um, we have a stitch in the ditched foot, an open toe foot, another quarter inch or one eighth inch foot. Um, extra spool stand so when you're using double threads if you're using a double needle that will go in there so you can run two threads or you can also keep that one as a separate one for winding your bobbins the foot on this Juki machine Press the front, stitches forward, 
kick on the back and it will automatically cut your threads. That's a very cool feature. Knee lift. I love using a knee lift. It means you can sew hands free. We have speed controller, needle up, needle down, button for doing your thread cutting, reverse button, start and stop. So if you want to run the machine without um, using the foot pedal, also really good for doing your buttonholes with. And then over here, we've got your dials for controlling stitch length and stitch width. So it's really easy to operate. Um, what they call a keypad number system. So same as your phones. So the numbers are in the same setting as your phones. So when you're keying in a stitch, you can either use the direct panel on the front for the stitches that get used most often, or you can go into the different menus for selecting your different stitches. You've also got the setting that allows you to do an instant tie off and it will cut the threads at the end of your stitches. Setting for whether you want the needle to remain up or down when you finish sewing or when you pause. Uh, that one is to do with doing your stitch patterns. That is a mirror button so on some of the decorative stitches you can have them um, going from left to right or right to left and an options button which is some of the menu settings. So Craig has put on the accessory table which gives you just that much more working space. It's just so handy. So I think that covers most of the info with the unboxing.